Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm going to be working with Lexi, and we're working on some loose leash walking. Now, loose leash walking is one of the most important things you can ever work on with a dog because you want to be able to comfortably exercise your dog without them pulling you down the street, without them possibly hurting you. And so what we're going to be doing is just practicing a couple laps, a couple laps in this patio to look at Lexi's pacing and to really work on her walking itself. Now to do this, we're going to be focusing on three rules. No pulling, no dragging, no sniffing the ground, and we always start the same way with the dog's name and then the command. So it's going to be Lexi. Let's go. Now right off the bat, Lexi's got a really beautiful pace going. And you see, I'm trying to keep the leash as loose as possible. And a good way to tell if your leash is the correct looseness, it's a little bit hard to see on her right now just because of where the leash is placed. But you see how there's a little J shape. That's how you know that your leash is the perfect looseness is because there should be just enough that you see a little loop, but not so much that you can't tighten it if you need to. Come on. But she's doing really nicely. I'm also keeping a very close eye on how far Lexi is walking ahead because it's really important that we establish to her that no matter what, even if she is gently walking ahead, we want to go ahead and stop that before it becomes an issue later in the line, later down the line. Come on. Good girl. And she's handling the turns like a champ. I'm going to take a second and actually adjust her collar just to make sure it's on the correct side. And I like that Lexi is offering a sit every single time I'm stopping, which is really polite. Lexi, let's go. So here you'll actually be able to see that loop a little bit closer, but you see how the leash is dangling. It forms a little J shape. Now right there you see Lexi was dragging behind slightly, so I just went ahead and put some pressure on the leash, and she caught up really fast. Come on. We're going to go ahead and do a couple more laps, but she's doing fantastic so far. Uh-uh. Now right there is a good example of a correction. A correction is essentially, I want to communicate to Lexi that what she did was not appropriate. So what I did was I just went ahead and snapped the leash. I'm not pulling Lexi, I'm just giving a snap or a pulse through the leash. And this communicates to Lexi that what she did was not appropriate for the walk. It's really important that we don't encourage any sniffing on the ground because that can quickly become a tripping hazard for us. I'm gonna make this final turn. And then if you want to stop with your dog, all you do is just say their name and then take a couple steps extra. What this does is it allows space for their legs. Lexi. Yes, good girl. And you see she's offering that beautiful sit once again. This was a really nice practice session with Lexi. Her walking was very polite. You saw I only had to give a correction once when she was trying to sniff something. But overall, her walking was fantastic. I'm very happy with today's practice session. Lexi did awesome. Good girl. Good girl, let's go.